the onions, peel the onions. Welcome to Peel the Onions with Sashlin. I'm Sashlin, and on this channel, we look at data analytics and data science tutorials and stuff. In this lesson, we are going to look at what data is and what the hype is all about. So let's get into it. Welcome, Sashlin. Welcome all. How was your weekend? Good weekend, hey? Good weekend. Hey, how's it? Sashlin. How's it? Yeah, weekend was good, hey? Weekend was good. As you may all know, this is our monthly YouTube feedback session. We're going to look at our subscriber count. And I've had a look at the data. To be honest, guys, it doesn't look good. But we can make some key decisions from this data. And one of the key decisions is to please like and subscribe so that we can continue peeling them onions. What is data? Data is all around us. In order to understand what data is, consider the following example. Just picture yourself in the scenic place of your garden. You see some plants. Maybe you see your little puppy playing in the garden. And also the car that you have not used in a few months because of lockdown and you need to boost it and it's not working and anyway, got sidetracked. So you're outside and the simple act of you looking around is actually your brain processing all this information that is taking in about the plants, about your little puppy and about your car. All this information known as data. What your brain is doing is actually processing all this data and classifying that this is indeed a plant, that this is indeed a dog and this is your little not so nice car. So to simply put, data is information and it's all around us. This is just one example of how data exists in the world. Let's take another example. Maybe your online shopping experience at Amazon, where you've been scrolling for days and spending all your money and now you're bankrupt and things aren't looking so good for you. You might need to look at your data. Anyway, every time you add to your cart and check out, this is information to the online retailer about what you like. Therefore, in the future, they can make recommendations about products that you might like as well. Consider another example in sports, where you see all these fancy visualizations about your favorite athletes in your favorite sports. You may see Lionel Messi scoring 5 billion goals every month. Or you may see your favorite UFC fighter having 26 significant strikes to the head and therefore maybe some brain damage. These are just a few examples of how data exists around us. And as you can see, data is everywhere. And it is in a lot more companies than you think it may be. There's actually a large percentage of data not being used in many businesses. And this could be hindering them to take the next step of success. Therefore, even if you are not in a data related career, it is important to understand data and the impacts of it and how it can help you make some key decisions. Hopefully by now you understand what data is. But why is it so important? What's all this hype about? Or rather, why has it become so important? If you had to think about it, the more data you have, the more knowledge you have. That is why we go to school. We try and learn more things and therefore we obtain more knowledge. Similarly, with data, the more you have of it, the more knowledge you have. Thus, you're able to make better decisions from it, be this to improve your products or services. A wealth of data is generated by billions of devices, such as your mobile phone or your Internet of Things devices. Just note, I'll be throwing a lot of buzzwords throughout this little mini series. So what is an Internet of Things device? Before I continue, this is just your toaster or your fridge being connected to the Wi-Fi and saying, hello, you fool something like that. So as I've mentioned, we have more data due to this explosion of data, which happened with mobile devices. This led to a large amount of it. This is termed big data, another buzzword. Big data holds significant potential for various reasons. And one of the things that has really benefited from it is artificial intelligence, or more specifically machine learning, which is beyond the scope of this course. But if you want to Google, 
you can do it. This leads me to explain this popular term, which is by Clive Humby. Data is the new oil. You might see the comparisons of data and oil. This just means that data in its raw form is rather not really useful. But by processing this data, you're able to turn it into a valuable entity, much like how oil is turned into gas or chemicals or plastic and so on. To a lot of companies, data is a large portion of their business model. It's how we get free services like your Gmail or a free Facebook account. You may have heard of a little company called Google, perhaps, or Facebook, Instagram maybe. These business models are largely centered around data. However, before you run off and create a company centered around data as your business model, remember that collecting data must take into account the privacy of your audience. Some more reasons as to why data is important. It enables multiple things. It allows you to have that feedback loop for improvement of your products or services, or maybe your own system processes. As I reflected in my monthly YouTube subscriber count meeting, key decisions can be made. Much like the online shopping example that I mentioned earlier, it is possible to learn from the past to make guesses about the future. For example, the products that you may buy in the future, or perhaps your customer lifetime value. Another one is to learn from the past and to make recommendations about the future. Much like any recommendation in online retail, what I've just described to you guys is analytics. Descriptive analytics, predictive analytics, and prescriptive analytics. The first two points can be seen as one and are points about descriptive analytics. If you are a bit lost about these terms that I've just mentioned, don't worry, we'll be covering them in the upcoming videos in this little mini-series of Intro to Data. Mentioning descriptive, predictive, and prescriptive analytics also brings us to the next discussion about what is data analytics and data science. I'll be discussing this in the next video in this Intro to Data playlist, so check that one out.